Hey, Yenna. Knock, knock. <laughs> Who's there? Opportunity knocking. Moving forward with the Decker team. Moving forward together with the Decker team. We are honored that for over 35 years, we've been able to come alongside you, not only selling, buying, and investing in real estate over 3,117 times. That's like a mouthful for me to say. (laughs) But coming alongside you to build your fun, build your faith, build your finances, and even strengthen, heal, and flourish inside relationship. And actually today, we're going to chat about mindset. So we're going to discover... What in our mind, other than we've already chatted about responsibility or acceptance and then responsibility, what's that third element that we might need to get clear on so that we can have some fun while we're building wealth wisely? Yeah, we might need to buy a new broom. A new broom? Mm -hmm. Mm. How come a new broom? Suzanne, why would we buy a new broom? Because we're going to do some clearing. We're going to clear some stuff out. We're going to clear the path. (laughs) Yes, we are. We're going to sweep away what doesn't work anymore. That's right. (laughs) Okay. You're ready to sweep out some of the mindset stuff that doesn't fit anymore in the conversation of building wealth wisely through real estate. Time to declutter. Time to declutter the brain, Mm. the mind. All right, Suzanne, you're the Mindset Mastery Mentor. So what we're talking about is clearing things out. And and I always like to think that two things can't occupy the same space. So you so, mean the dirt on my floor can't occupy the same space as a clean floor? Absolutely. Okay. Okay. So I sweep it away. Um, yet it tries to occupy my warm side of the bed when it's cold out. <laughs> two things can't, can't occupy, occupy the, the same, same space. space. Nope. So you know, I had to get pushed out. There you go. So what we're, what we're really looking at here is think of all the things that are in your space right now, in your head, blocking the possibility of you moving forward when it comes to building wealth and investing. So it might be that you have people chirping in your ear. Oh, those about, hurt. About what you can't do. Um, it's not the right time, you don't have enough money, it's dangerous, you know what renters are like, all those sorts of things. It's risky. It's risky. So if investing is truly something you want to do, then you've got to clear out those conversations and make space for conversations that are going to move you forward. So a clarity call will actually put in the voices of knowledge and information that's going to get you there. It may be that um, right now you're spending your money you know, on different things. Well, money can't, much, for many of us, there's a certain amount of finite, finite, finite amount of money coming in. So it can't be going into two places. So you've got to decide where is money going to flow in order for me to build up the resources I need to make what to get what I want. So it might be that you're going to have to say, well, I got to stop spending here. I got to stop doing this over here. And I've got to redirect money here. Two things can't occupy the same side. I'm going to clear out this spending and I'm going to pull in this spending. It could also be time. In order to be an educated investor, you require time. I yeah, to- well, because we want to make sure people are like, we want to make sure you are not just going through the motions of investing. Anybody can help you get a property. That's not that tricky. It's just, are they helping you get the right property in the right way where you actually understand what you've just done? Right. So informed, it, being an informed mm-hmm. investor, right? And it, it, you know what? I just got to step in here for a second because your investment starts with your first home. You know, like many times when we talk about investment, people think, oh, rental property, Mm -hmm. you know, multi-unit, whatever. But it's also your first residence. Your first place you buy is part of your investment strategy. And, you know, recently I was talking with a a gentleman. He'd bought a a new vehicle. And he said, yeah, I'm paying that down. I want to pay that down. It'll take me a couple of years. I'll pay it off. and And then I'll go save for my house and they said well let me show you what the what the numbers look like if we if we just pay the the normal payment on your on your vehicle and then we put 
the excess money that you're earning into the first time home buyers savings program. And then we buy a house. And where are we at in like two years or three years compared to trying to pay the, the vehicle off? And the numbers were staggering to the advantage, mm -hmm. you know, like that person was going to make an extra $35,000 a year because they had a house, which was basically meant the house was paying off the vehicle and he didn't don't have to put extra money against the vehicle. So it's, it's that kind of thing that um, we get stuck in our mindset of what we think is the best route forward. And sometimes an outside person can give you different uh Absolutely. And and so when we talk about time, it's taking the time to have those conversations. It's taking the time to read the wealth formula. It's taking the time to activate a plan. I know when we sat down, you I left with a plan and I had tasks to do. So it's all those pieces. I've got to I've got to invest that time. And so something, if you're busy, something has to go. And so when we're talking about clearing is I'm pulling in what's going to have me win. And I'm, I'm sweeping out using your yeah. analogy yeah. of the things that are going to get in the way. And it's interesting as you're sharing that, because I'm thinking about this young man, we started having a dialogue with his father, like, thank you, dad, for introducing us to your son. And then they came to the Building Wealth Wisely workshop, and he started taking in a little more information, Absolutely. but still didn't clear out the truth or the, the thought that it was truth that he needed to get rid of his payment first before he could buy a house. It wasn't until he had the clarity call Absolutely. that he started to clear out more of those things that weren't actually serving him, but he thought they were. So if you're thinking you need a clarity call or someone you know needs a clarity call, because this guy didn't know he needed one. Someone else knew he needed one. <laughs> right? Needed to get in front of us and came to the Building Wealth Wisely workshop. So just pick up the phone, give us a call. We will help you decide, give you options as to what your next steps might be. And you might be surprised. Mm -hmm. And you, you're making such a great point, Yetta, when it comes to mindset in particular. So I want to I wanna look at, so here's a young man. So he could have been anywhere. Yeah. But he went to the Building Wealth wise, Wisely workshop that didn't do all he needed so he had to go to a clarity call that probably isn't going to do all he needed there's going to be another i think he's reading the wealth formula right? i know his sister has so brother and sister came together so also doing a community so it's then there's going to be a next step and i want people to just think of the time and investment in that because oftentimes when we think of of purchasing something or building wealth, we think of, oh, well, I'm going to do that next month. I'm going to do that <laughs> next year and I'm good to go. And the reality is it's a process. It's a journey if you want to do it in fun and play, which is my thing. And my thing. And my thing, I have fun. I have a fun helping people build wealth, positioning them to do that. So. All right, so here's the thing. If you're almost ready, but you might have a mind block, mm -hmm. you're going, it's too risky, it's too scary, I'm afraid, I don't know where the money's going to come from, I don't know what steps to take. If you're stuck, then give us a call, 613-867-6058. And if I can't get you unstuck, I'll refer you to Suzanne, because Suzanne is the master of mindset. So here we go. We're honored that you joined us on Life's Inside Track because when we move forward together, together we got this. Moving forward with the Decker team. Moving forward together with the Decker team.